We want to move now to a new warning about the possible dangers of cell phones. A report from the California Department of Health is raising concerns about the possible risks of radiation and guidelines on how to reduce it. Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John Ashton is here with details. You got to wonder, I mean, we put this thing next to our ear all the right. time, but um, we've heard these concerns for a long time. Just can you sum them up for us? It really seems like everything old is new again. So there have been studies in the past that show a possible link between the radio frequency energy that's emitted with a cell phone and brain tumors, acoustic neuromas, learning problems, sleep problems, low sperm count in men. Overall, and then the trade organization that represents the wireless phone companies is very clear on this, major health organizations are stating, and this includes the FDA, by the way, that there is no clear scientific evidence to support this risk. All right, well, there's that. They're always doing more research, though. Now, the California Department of Health has some recommendations that we can all take to protect ourselves. And these are really common sense. Even though we don't have the conclusive scientific evidence right now, these things, really, there's no reason why should, people shouldn't be doing them. Basically, using the hands-free or speakerphone option on your cell phone don't sleep with your phone next to your head. I'm going to try to improve on this one because it's right on my night table. Pr try to put it across the room. Don't keep your phone in direct contact with your body when, when you're just walking around with it. And this is a surprising one. When you are getting one or two bars low signal, that's actually when the RF energy emitted is the strongest. Oh. So try not to use your phone at that time. Yeah, try to keep it charged. And one of those uh, tips was don't sleep with it next to your head. A lot of teens and children do that. So what are the specific oh, risks? They put it right next to their pillow. Most of of us just have it on our night table. It really should be across the room, but there is a thought that the that the growing brain of children and teens is more susceptible to this. So awareness, common sense applies. All right. Thanks again, Doctor. That phone out of the bedroom. That's right. <laughs>